Hey guys, it's Josh from Madden Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own Game of Thrones house sigil banners using felt and iron-on. I bought a package of inexpensive 12 by 18 sheets of felt from a local big box store and I'll put links to all of the supplies you need to make this project in the description below. I started by creating the pocket from which the banners will hang. And I did that by creating a one inch seam from the short end of the felt. So just measure over one inch and then pin it in place. Don't worry, we're not gonna be sewing. Pin down the entire length of the piece of felt and then warm up your hot glue gun. Run a bead of hot glue along the very edge of that overhang and what this will do is to create a pocket at the top of the banner so that you can slip a dowel in and that can be used to hang the banner when it's all finished. Glue all the way across the piece of felt and then let the glue dry. Once the hot glue is dried, you want to fold the piece of felt in half the long way and you want to make sure that the right sides are facing together. So what will be the front of your banner is on the inside of the fold. Put the folded side down facing you and then using a ruler or a measuring tape, measure 13 inches from the top of the banner. So the pocket end of the banner down. I used a pin to keep my fold in place. That's completely optional. You just need to make sure you measure 13 inches from the top of the banner or four inches from the bottom and make a mark. Then using a straight edge, draw a line from that mark to the outer corner of the banner, the outer corner of the piece of felt. Then using scissors or a rotary cutter, cut along that line. Then when you open your banner right side up, you will have that neat notch at the bottom of the banner that you see on Game of Thrones. So at the top you've got your pocket with the glue on the back side and the bottom the notched edge. The next thing you need to do is to cut out the sigils using a cutting machine and the cut files that you can find on my blog. Just go to my blog, madandcrafts.com, and search Game of Thrones banners in the search bar, and it will bring you to the post that has this full tutorial and all the cut files that you'll need for the major houses of Westeros. Weed out all of the vinyl that is not part of your design and heat up either your iron or your easy press machine. I really like using my Cricut easy press for iron on projects because it takes all the guesswork out of ironing on the vinyl, but you can definitely do this with the regular household iron. So what I'm doing is I'm centering my banner on my easy press mat. So you want, you don't want the design to be on the notched part of the bottom and you want to have equal margins around the side. First, you want to preheat your felt, either using your iron or using your easy press. After you've preheated your fabric, you want to place the design where you want it to be, add a pressing cloth, and then heat the vinyl according to either your heat settings for your easy press or the iron directions that come with your packet of heat transfer vinyl. After you've ironed the front side of your design, don't forget to heat the bottom side as well. This really makes sure that the iron-on vinyl is securely in place. Slowly peel off the plastic backing from your iron-on vinyl to reveal your finished design. Finally, slip a dowel into the pocket at the top of the banner so that you have a way to hang the banner in your home. Keep making banners until you have one for every major house in Westeros. Stark, Baratheon, Aaron, Tyrell, Tully, Lannister, and Targaryen. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Visit me on my blog, maddencrafts.com, and thanks so much for watching. Winter is coming.